Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi and a big welcome. As you guys can see by the title of the video, we have my third and final trimester video. Well, third trimester. There's the fourth trimester that the postpartum that people call sometimes call the fourth trimester. Um, but I'm just gonna call that like this is my final. I'm done. <laughs> I am finished. You, I'm finished. Um, currently not wearing a bra. I've already mentioned this in my last video. Um, it's the same setup. It's literally like, like same everything. Um, I'm just like, I need to film two videos on one day because I have finals this week. Um, but yeah, if you're new to my channel and this is the first video that you're watching, go ahead and um, click up here somewhere um, click the card and watch my second trimester and my first trimester go and watch how I told my boyfriend and um, well told my baby daddy and my family how that I'm pregnant and their reactions like go watch all my pregnancy videos if you're here for pregnancy there's gonna be so many more um, pregnancy videos now that like school wise I'm almost done um, and I'm gonna have time to like do everything and just focus on my pregnancy anyway let's get right into this video okay so I don't know how many of you guys are pregnant um, <laughs> my guy I'm done <laughs> yo yo I'm finished I'm finished like I'm done like if you guys could see what it takes for me to actually even put on makeup to such I'm not even wearing a bra. Anyone that knows me, if I could, I would sleep in a bra. Like, a bra is a life. <laughs> like, bras are no, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I could not do it. Like, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. So, the last video, um, where my pregnancy was like I did kind of mention talk about my pregnancy or whatever I was having Bra Braxton Hicks um, and I've been having them for the past how long for those for the past three weeks I've been having Braxton Hicks it's been one hell of a, ma a mess because every time I have them it's my first kid and I'm doing it alone like I'm like doing everything on my own so like it's my first kid and it's like is this time like I don't know like when it's time or when it's not so I'm always always on the phone with my mom calling my mom and I'm just like listen I'm having pains and I'm also very much very scared of going to the hospital like I always like prolong going to the hospital like even in general like my pregnancy stuff like I always prolong it I don't like hospitals um so like I kind of wait hours, like I wait hours before like I'm like before I call my mom because my mom was always like just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just because she, she's like panicking and she's stressed out because she's so far away so she can't really help me and she has just like just go like in every single call she's like just go I'm like you can't just tell me to just go all the time like you need to you need to assess this properly you've had kids you've had three of them so tell me am I in labor or not so it's just been such a movie it's been so funny but at the same time very scary um there's been a lot of complications in my third trimester that I'm gonna go into so I'm gonna first start off with my body changes i'm breaking out on my face again um but i wouldn't even classify it as acne um like i did with my first trimester it's not it's not nearly as bad as my first trimester but around my chin over here i do have like three four like little clusters of little people right here um that's about it and my nose has the biggest pores oh my gosh um, my nose has the biggest pores um, and my nose is a huge like this is contoured this is contoured like let me not fool you guys I have the biggest nose on earth right now and my lips oh my gosh my lips my lips are so huge like oh like, I never like my lips are huge and I don't have the smallest lips like on earth like in general I don't think I have I don't think I have like the smallest lips, but wow. <laughs> and um, my hands now swell up, my feet 
swell up but not not nearly as bad as like preeclampsia or what I've seen on online and everything like that I can still very much walk comf comfortably but they are swollen and they do get like swollen like maybe like four times a week like four times a week and for like maybe two hours and it gets like sorted out um my hands my hands my belly my feet are boiling hot like they melt ice all the time like all the time i sleep naked with just my okay maybe this is dmi but like obviously guys it's my third trimester like honestly i don't give two rat asses <laughs> about <laughs> TMI thing. If you clicked on this video, my guy, like, you clicked on it, like, what were you gonna hear? But anyway, I sleep naked with just, like, a small fleece blanket, sometimes not even, and it's winter, so at night it's, like, six degrees. Like, <laughs> it's eight degrees, so I shouldn't, and my room is so cold, and so I shouldn't be, like, feeling that hot and, like, wanting to sleep naked and stuff like that like I should be freezing but I'm not I'm so hot all the time any liquid that I drink I put ice in it we are not drinking no hot chocolate no we're not cozying up in this house like it's cold all the time and it feels great so, and sometimes I'm like boiling hot I'm like really really boiling hot so that bodily wise yeah and my stomach is huge now very huge like I'm pretty sure I'm pregnant <laughs> like it's very huge like you can't miss it you can't miss it and my entire pregnancy people like didn't really recognize like or realize that I was pregnant but now that they are they like so excited they want to touch my belly like this is like I'm not even talking about people I know like this is like people like at the grocery stores like they've never seen a black pregnant person ever like it's so weird um they want to help me with my bags like they're just so like everyone is just so happy like i'm their kid or like like the kid i'm carrying is theirs like everyone is just so happy like everyone like, turkish people are the the nicest people when it comes to pregnancy and babies and everything like everyone is just like excited and like they're just ready like i don't know i don't know it's just very nice very nice so my belly is huge my belly button is it's definitely an Audi and it's a huge Audi, but it's been an Audi like my entire pregnancy. Um, breathing wise, I struggled to breathe like walking up the stairs. I walk up the stairs and do not use the elevator. I don't like elevators. Like it's not that I don't like elevators, I have anything against them. It's just I don't really work out that much. Like this is in general. So I prefer using stairs than elevators everywhere I go so with me being pregnant I still prefer that because the more exercise you get the more steps you get and everything I like get the better it is for your baby's heart rate and the oxygen levels um, for the baby so I always just use stairs no matter how out of breath I'm going to be at the end always just use stairs okay so now pregnancy symptoms I haven't had a migraine my entire third trimester I would think I would have a migraine, but no, I didn't have a migraine, um, not even once. I haven't had a migraine, not even once. My first trimester, I had them all the time, every single day. It was a thing, like, it was a thing, and I was so glad I was with my mom, and I was home with my sisters and my mom, because they took real good care of me, honey. But, um, yeah, I no migraines at all. Um, my thirst levels have gone down like I drink water a lot but my thirst levels in third trimester I just can't drink anymore it feels like there's something in my stomach I mean there is something in my stomach but it feels like this thing in my stomach <laughs> okay it feels like my baby is like like I don't know how to it makes me full it feels like I ate my baby and I'm full all the time so like i take two bites three bites or something and i'm like like painfully full like painfully full like i'll be starving 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 and then i take two bites three bites and then i'm full like painfully full um and it kind of makes sense with my weight gain weight gain wise from pre-pregnancy i have only gained two kgs yeah, I've only gained 2 kgs 
and my baby currently weighs almost three kgs so you do the math i haven't really gained weight i've lost a lot of weight um i haven't gained weight much <laughs> like it's just all belly like i really haven't gained weight at all i was even trying on like jeans and stuff and they fit me like they fit me they just don't button up because they're high waisted and i have a belly but they fit me like they really genuinely fit me so i regained weight and i think it's because my baby just eats all my food and doesn't give me some <laughs> like doesn't give, like eats all my food and does not leave any for like me um but yeah back pain that i had in my second trimester is totally gone i do not have back pain at all like at all at all and I, I like i don't have back pain like at all but my second trimester oh that showed me flames <laughs> oh i saw <laughs> yeah i saw the light with that <laughs> um but i'm definitely tired i'm definitely ready for baby to be out like out like I don't sleep at all. I sleep at 8.30 a.m. every single day and wake up at 12. So three and a half hours of sleep every single day. I'm exhausted, but I cannot sleep at all to save my life. And it's just annoying. It's so annoying. It's so annoying because the longer you're awake, the more you need to eat. So I'm having to like make food at like random hours, like at four, at like five. And it's cooking because like can't be take out um so to say that my baby is like a very needy baby is like <laughs> just like the mother but like <laughs> wow child it's like hectic sleeping is very uncomfortable at this point um my belly is so heavy and it's just so full at the same time that laying down is just very uncomfortable i do not breathe properly um and they say I should lay down on my left side with two pillows. That helps a little bit, but then it makes me like nauseous to the point where I like vomit while I'm laying down. Like it's it's so bad. Like I it's so bad. It's so bad. When I'm on my left side, I'm vomiting. When I'm on my right side, I can't breathe. Um, but my back is sore from sitting up and sitting up straight the whole day that I need to lay down but if I lay down on my back I desperately painfully cannot breathe so it's just like my nose is blocked all the time but I'm not sick um, huh, the fevers and not even the fevers because it's not a fever because I had to go into the hospital or the emergency room at one point but it's not a fever I don't even know what it is but I sweat a lot when I'm like laying down and sleeping and trying to sleep and my body's hot like all the time but when they're checking me for the fever it's like my nigga you don't have the fever like what's going on and it lasts for like 30 minutes and then it's gone for like a couple of hours and then it comes back to know what that is about at all um yeah that's about it so now for oh my cravings I'm not having much cravings um, I still feel like salty things still so I'm making like lots of soups um, lots of meaty things and stuff like that so a lot of savory things um, but not too much like I'm not craving things like the things that I am craving I think I'm not craving I'm not having pre I've realized I'm not even I think I realized I'm not having pregnancy cravings because I'm not an SA but I want mohodu so bad i want my mom's mahoru that is nice and spicy and chilly um i want my mom's lamb knuckles oh my gosh her lamb knuckles they have lamb here but they don't cut them like into the knuckles like i keep showing them pictures and they just they don't do that like oxtail oh my gosh i want oxtail all the time oxtail from cream with the risotto broccoli risotto I want that. I want spur buffalo wings, the spicy ones with those chips on the side. You put some salt and then you put that like salad dressing, that white sauce salad dressing thing all over it and you just eat it and you just feel good about like, like, oh, oh, oh my gosh. I want Tosh's. 
Oh my gosh, I want Tasha's. I never thought I would ever want Tasha's because I speak bad about Tasha's all the time. But I want Tasha's Turkish Delight cocktail. Like, my nigga, it doesn't even have to be alcoholic, it can be a virgin. Listen, I want that cocktail all the time. I want um, the Tasha's um, chicken prego roll with extra mozzarella inside with the Turkish delight on the side and be like bam like fam like once I have that meal <laughs> woo we are live we are going we are great um what else that's like basically all that I'm craving um <laughs> that's literally all that I want like I'm not even thinking about chicken licking like I love chicken licking I love chicken licking oh acha oh that chicken licking acha Oh my gosh, if I could have that by the bucket load, like, oh, like, I would be so happy, like, if I could have that by the bucket load, I would be so happy, so happy. I am still craving something that I've never had in my life, but I'm craving kicking crabs, boiling, um, seafood that Kim Tai has all the time. I want that sausage and that sauce. I want that cucumbers, the Persian cucumbers, and I want the jasmine rice that she has. I want to eat it with the hand, like the way she does it. Honey, listen. I want to go in. Like, I want to go in on those things. I want jungle oats as well. Jungle oats would be really nice. Like, okay, okay. Now I'm going off topic, but I want jungle oats as well. Jungle oats and porridge, white porridge. Oh, 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 dingy. Oh, dingy with. Oh, guys. Okay, listen. This is the meal. This is the meal. Listen, listen. Okay, <laughs> this is the meal. Give like a dingy with chicken gizzards. By the way, this has to be done, by my mom. Otherwise, it, it doesn't. Ha it doesn't have the same effect. Um, thingy, but a white, like the white one, I think I like my belly, I can make my belly. Um, so, I think I with morojo, but that morojo must have tomatoes in and it must be nice and salty and soupy. Bon, and then chicken gizzards. <laughs> By my mommy. I want the ones that my mommy makes, like chicken gizzards. Um, and then I just go within. Like sometimes we can even just have that thingy with my mom's um soap or ooh. Ooh, because it's so nice and like gravy and like tomato -y and like green peppery and like oniony, like and then you just eat that. That's when I can even have gamabele, like that's on hands down gamabele, like I had that a lot in my first trimester, but that one, Gamabele, oh my gosh, oh my, with no meats, oh my gosh, come through, ah, okay, yeah, okay, so now I'm done with my cravings, <laughs> the complications that I've had in my third trimester, I have, oh my gosh, I, they're not even complications, well, they are a little bit, um, had my 30 something week I had my 30 something week appointment um I always go into my appointments I literally just go there to see my baby to hear the heartbeat to you know um see my baby moving kicking and just to see my baby like I honestly my entire pregnancy has been that with zero complications except for um an infection and my anemia but that has nothing to do with my baby at all so I always go into the into the doctor's appointment like just like nonchalant like I'm just gonna go see my baby and I went in and she started asking me like funny questions and she's always very excited like she loves my baby like she really loves my baby my doctor so she's always excited because my baby's always like moving around and like kicking and doing the most for her so it's like um they just have a really nice relationship they're going or whatever <laughs> I went in this time and she was just like, she took the longest time to look for the blood flow in the, um, from the umbilical cord to the baby or the blood flow levels in the umbilical cord. And she, while she was looking for it, she asked me like, 
does does the baby kick like how often is the baby kick and i was like um yeah but like it's not as much as the baby usually kicks um but i thought that was normal because it's a third trimester and there's just not enough space in there anymore and i'm very tiny so i like there's just not enough space and um she was like okay 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 and then she found it and she's like oh okay um the oxygen levels are good in the umbilical cord like everything is good and then i was like okay and then she always measures the fluid in my um in my womb like measures the fluid and um she measured the fluid and in the sac not in my womb she measured the fluid in my sac and she was just like your fluid levels are very low and i'm very concerned about it because it means it's not good for the baby um, basically, I need you to go do blood test ASAP, like tomorrow, um, on this and that, that, and um, from the blood tests and stuff like that, I will determine whether I'm going to induce you or not. So at that point, I was like, what? I could have this baby tomorrow, like, what is going on? And it was going to be like a premature baby because it wasn't going to be full term at all. I was a premature baby, so I've always prepared myself throughout my pregnancy for me to have a preemie because apparently like the chances are like higher for you to have a preemie if you were a preemie so um like i i was just like what 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 is going on i was like so stressed out because my entire pregnancy my baby has been fine it's just been my body and it's just been about like me and my anemia and this and that and you know medications and everything like that um migraines you know just like it's just been that and now for the sac not to have enough fluid for my baby to like grow. Basically when the fluid decreases in the third trimester as you get closer and closer to your due date, as the baby gets closer and closer to coming, the fluid does decrease. But mine was decreasing and the levels were so low that at but like according to the time period of when the, my baby's due it was not good because the kidneys were still needed to be formed like fully there's just like a lot of things that like my baby was just not ready to come out and my the environment that my baby was in was like you need to come out now and so um the longer you keep the baby in there with no fluid obviously it's not good um so it would be better for the baby to be outside um so that kind of scared me that was the only complication i did take the blood test and stuff um we are fixing the fluid the fluid is still low i went back to the doctor fluid is still low my heart as well has been beating very irregular like and it's every night when i'm laying down um it just beats like it's going to stop like i'm not sure if it's beating too fast or too slow or skipping a beat but it just like it's just it's beating very funny like it's gonna stop or something so that scared me i had to go to the emergency room the one night and i stayed there for a couple of hours they put me on a drip um just to like help me and stuff with that and then they sent me back home that was last week uh, yeah that was not last week and <laughs> Why did I say that like a joke boy? That was like last week and yeah, so basically like right now it's it's quite tense. <laughs> it's quite tense. Now like it's quite tense because I'm just like just a couple of more weeks, like maybe three more weeks and then we'll be good and then you can you can come out when you like you can we can do whatever after three weeks because i still have two weeks of finals and then my mom is coming i need my mom here in case i need a blood transfusion um which is something that i might need with my anemia and just with the anticipating that i might lose a lot of blood during birth so i need my mommy here um obviously they have blood they will have blood but my mom was just like she's just paranoid because she's just like i need you to have my blood <laughs> type of thing like i don't mind having anyone else's but like i just need my mom here guys that's all so i'm just like okay everything just needs to work together to come together so that my mom can be here like even if i miss finals at this point like i will then have to do another semester which is irritating 
which is what I did not want because if if I was gonna have, if I'm gonna have to repeat the semester, I would have much rather been in South Africa for my entire pregnancy, then and just given birth there because that's where all my family is, um, and it would have been really nice to have my family and all that. Um, so if I were to miss a semester, like if my f like I didn't struggle throughout this entire semester for me to fail it and repeat it, like that will just piss me off like that would just piss me off like that will piss me off so much because i had the opportunity to be at home and stay at home or to even like go to another country and just relax and stay or even just stay here and just relax and stay here like you know and not have to do with midterms and finals and assignments and presentations and all that jazz so if i had to go through all that struggle of waking up pregnant driving to school, coming back late, and having to like, you know, clean and cook and do all that stuff with school, with YouTube, and everything. I would be so mad if I had to do that for nothing. Like, if I miss my finals and then I just fail, like, we're squaring up with someone, like, I'm coming for someone at that point, like, I'd be so mad. So, I know it's it sounds vain to be like, oh, um, baby must just stay in there for the next two weeks because I have finals. But like you guys must understand, like I put my all into the semester. Um, it was not easy. Like it's not easy to go to school pregnant. It was horrible. Um, it was just very difficult. Um, it wasn't horrible, like I, like horrible or anything like that. It's just it was very difficult being pregnant and tired all the time and having to study and comprehend all these things when all you're thinking about is your baby and all you're thinking about is like the things that you could be doing at home like cleaning and preparing for the baby and all that but you're still in class like it's those things were a bit challenging or like being away from family like that's the one thing I have struggled with that <laughs> anyway if you guys like this video please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment down below and um let me know if you guys have been pregnant or you are pregnant what is the one thing that you guys are really really struggling with um for me it's just not being around family honestly um and i think it's going to be a huge huge struggle for many years um not having my family around like if i do decide to stay abroad forever um <laughs> That's gonna, it's just gonna break my heart. Like, it's just gonna break my heart. Like, it's just gonna break my heart. Because I can't always have my child's birthday parties in another country or, like, it's just gonna break my heart. It's honestly gonna just break my heart. But anyway, um, just let me know what you struggled with within your pregnancy, what you struggled with motherhood, motherhood, what you struggled with, um, um, if you, this is only if you guys have been pregnant. If you haven't been pregnant, my guy <laughs> it's a lot <laughs> um and i'll see you guys next week with another video bye